Okay, here I am at Micro Center one more time. It's been a while. Well, today I'm going to take a look at some new parts that are coming in and uh, probably buy some. But we'll see what happens here. Looks pretty much the same as it did in the past, but there's no line. I remember seeing lines in the past every time I came here. Let's wait till it opens up and we'll get in there and we'll see what they have for us. Hi there. Uh, Nick here is a customer that's about to enter the store today and uh, buy some stuff before we get started. And so 20 minutes early. <laughs> 20 minutes early. So what brings you here today? Well, I, I, for two reasons. Uh, one, I recently moved. Um, and my, the house I live in doesn't have a doorbell. So I want to get one of those ring or other door, nest doorbell things to, to uh, set up on my front door. And then the other thing, um, I'm a software engineer um, um, by profession. And I want to look. I want to check check out the uh, Apple computers because I usually use uh, do my work on an Apple. Well, I hope you get what you want today. Thank you. Thanks Thank for the interview. You. Thank you. Hi there, uh, Scott, the yes, store hi, manager hi. here in Westbury uh, Micro Center. How you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good. I appreciate you letting me come here and create another video today. Absolutely. You're always welcome. What do you think of, uh, of the growth of uh, this type of technology within your area? It's, it's astounding, it really is. I mean, every day there seems to be something new, uh, exciting, and really bringing a lot of great, uh, more business and more customers into our, into our building, into, our, into the company, really. Um, especially with Build Your Own, it's just, it's just an exciting area of the business with all the great technologies that are coming out. And, that, you know, it's just, it's a really great time to be a builder of computers or even just tinkering with new technologies. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and just all the ex accessories and other mis miscellaneous things you can pick up oh, like this. Absolutely. I mean, I'm old timer, so I go back to the days when Radio Shack was the place you'd hang out. <laughs> But you actually have your own little Radio Shack back there. We, we do in our in our Maker STEM department or DIY. A lot of people refer to it as the DIY area. But, right. Uh, yeah. There's you name it, we have it in, in, in that in that area of the store. Okay. Well, again, I appreciate you letting me come in today and uh, film my latest uh, purchase of equipment to build my new server, and we'll see how it goes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? Callie, isn't it? Yep, that's me. Great, how Yeah, are you? you helped me last time. I appreciate all the, all the help showing me yeah, of uh, all of the different selections here and the build your own. Not a problem. Well, this time I'm looking to buy some parts. I want to build a right. server. Sounds great. Well, now, um, what are you looking for? Well, I have half of them, uh, but I don't have the key parts. Okay. So I need a CPU. Okay. I need the motherboard. I need uh, memory. And I need a two terabyte SSD. Okay. Uh, PCIe 4. Okay, so you want to yeah. go 4th gen? I want to go 4. I want to go fa fastest as I can. You got Just it. like with the memory, I want to do DDR5. Okay. Uh, so those are the basic things. Definitely have that in stock, yeah. <laughs> I have some, some specifics. I want to make sure that I have at least three PCIe slots on the motherboard that can support times 4. Okay. And I noticed some of the high-end ones, when I was looking online, they only have two. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be putting three things that need that. Okay. And the graphics card, of course, but being one of them. But, yeah. but also, I'm putting in a uh, a video capture card from Elgato. Okay. That's going in there. Okay. I, you know, I have yeah. an extra one that'll go into the server, even though I probably won't use it there that much. I will still put it in. Okay. And also a 10 gig interface adapter, which I have for this. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. So those are the only four parts I'm missing, and I can start building the. Uh, the computer. Okay. Um, you want to? Where do you want to start? You want to tell me what you do have, so I could try to match it better to what you already have. Mm, I have a 360 degree cooler from EK that I bought on sale. Okay. So that's the uh, the cooler I'll use for the CPU. I have a high airflow Corsair case that I bought a couple of years ago. Actually, okay. people wouldn't like that necessarily <laughs> yeah. because it only has plexi on the side, not regular glass. Gotcha. But it, it still has a window. And it's, it's got plenty of room in it for as much expansion as I want to do. I got uh, a 1,000 watt power supply. Yeah, I, think it, I think it's EVGA that I found on sale. Yeah, they make great product. Yeah, so I have a lot of s stuff that I bought on sale because I've been planning for this overall 
for a while. I just was waiting on the key parts because I never know when they're going to change. Now, I know they're going to change later this year. Yeah, they, they're rumored, yeah. But I never go for the bleeding edge. Okay. So I usually go for right below that. So I'm looking for basically high end on what is available today. Okay, what kind of GPU do you have? I'll be putting in my um, Asus Rogue Strict. Uh, 3070 Ti. Okay, so you have a you have a nice graphics card. Yep, um, and the graphics is uh, it'll never it, well. It, I'll put it that way. I'll put it a different way. It will be able to use it for let's say somebody wants to do gaming or something if they want to. Yeah, I have a Strix 3060 Ti. I have almost the same one, just a little bit lower, and I game on it no problem at all. Oh yeah, I also have that one sitting in a box. Oh. I don't even use it. <laughs> Mine's in my computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I play a little bit of everything, so. So that, that's any, any other part that I left out? Um, uh, I think you pretty much got it all. I um, guess you already have an operating system. Yes, the operating system is going to actually be um, VMware ESDI. Okay. But I'm going to put a, it has, the case has five and a quarter inch bays. So I'm going to put, I still do some stuff with DVDs. I know that's old fashioned, but I still do it. But also I'm going to put a drive uh, S an uh, SSD drive bay that can be sw hot swapped. Okay. And I'll be able to swap that out to different operating systems. Most of the time it'll be running VMware, but if I need a spare computer for something, I'll just switch out that one piece mm -hmm. and I'll be able to use it. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I think that's it, right? Keyboard and mouse don't matter. <laughs> no, no. We're only, we're only talking about, <laughs> you know, the good stuff, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, so let's get started. So you have DDR5 memory? I got plenty of DDR5 memory. I do, okay. I got all kinds. Um, what are my choices now? A lot of G-Skill, some Corsair, um, some Crucial. Crucial doesn't really make any with a heat spreader though, so if you're looking for, I guess, something a little nicer looking. Well, I do um, want to get 64 gig in, okay. two, in two dims. Okay, uh, I have G-Skill, I have RGB, non-RGB. I do have Crucial, um, again, just without a heat spreader. Uh, they just have like a regular, I guess, black look to them on the actual piece of RAM itself. Which one has the, the, best, the, the best latency, the lowest number? Probably a G-Skill kit. Uh, let me look it up real quick. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Uh, crucial, let's see, 040, Corsair, 40. Uh, the G-Skill kit at 36, yeah. So I would just go with that one. And, and that one has, uh, that's the highest speed too? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's definitely the fastest one that I have available right now. Fastest okay. with the lowest latency. So you want to look for both of those, because even if it has like a higher megahertz speed, the cast latency you want to make sure is the Absolutely, lower. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you want to make sure to keep that Thank low. You. That's, that's a great point. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Let me just... So what's the cost on that? That is on sale for $549. Yeah. I'll put it on the list. I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> you saved $250 off of that one. That's great. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I mean, I'll be missing the RGB, but... I'll take performance over that. I would agree with that. Uh, you could always add lights to other parts of the PC. Like you said, you have an RGB graphics card. Yep. Uh, you can always add like light strips to it. Other, I guess, forms of lights. Like we have streamer cables. Um, if you yeah. want to take a look right over here, we have like a whole bunch of RGB stuff on display. Yep. Yep, I've seen so, this one. I think I actually filmed this one last time. Yeah, I have the same cables myself. You can program them to do literally whatever you want them to look like. Oh, I also have the RGB fans already. Okay. They're yeah. PWM fan sets that I have. Okay. So, so yeah, I mean, you can go without RGB RAM and have plenty of other sources. For yeah, it's the only thing it'll be missing. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we got the RAM. What kind of process are you looking for? Any core count specific? Uh, I'm looking for an i9, to be honest with you. Okay. Intel i9. The, the last fast system I made was AMD, the 5900X, <laughs> and this time I want to go i9, but I'm not sure, but w one, of the, one of the two. Okay. You know, I need to understand a little bit more about which one probably is more appropriate for what I'm trying to do. Okay, so there's actually two i9s right now, 12th gen. Um, there's the regular 12900K, and then there's a 12900KS, which is like a special edition version. Um, it, it does clock a bit faster. So it is definitely a good thing you have a 360 millimeter radiator because uh, you're, you're going to want to keep that one even cooler. Right. So right. I do have I do have two different i9s available as well as a 5950X. Where are these at? Do you have them in the store here? Yeah, or? you have them in a display case right over here. I think I've seen a couple of bills with both of them. Okay, they're being covered right now. Oh, no. 
I did not put these here, but. Well, I see them. I see yeah. them up in so their top row. That's right, right? Yeah. yeah so I have the regular uh, 12900K is on sale for 549. Okay. The special edition 12900KS is on sale for 729. It's $170 off as well right now. Hmm. What do you think? Well, they're both 16 core processors. Uh, this one can clock faster though. It can perform better. So that's up to how much performance you're looking for. You said you're using it for a server. It really depends on how much CPU performance you think you're going to need. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, uh, I'll, that. I'll, I'll make the investment. Okay. It is worth it in the long run, definitely. Okay. Uh, 100%. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So let me put that one on the list for you because I'm okay. going to make you an itemized list of everything with the prices. That'd be great. Thank okay. you. Yeah, of course. Uh, so let's go back over this way. And sure. Take care of that. That's a nice case. No, it's on the larger side of cases. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on the larger side of cases. I'm pretty sure that one's considered a full tower. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Cal. That's what I, 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 I really prefer. Okay. And here. Last five, right? Last five, yeah. 100KS, okay. So I can add Okay. And the cool thing is, by getting the processor and motherboard at the same time, you actually save $20 off of a motherboard. Oh, great, great. Yeah. Great. So we're going DDR5, so mm -hmm. there are Z690 boards that will either work off DDR4 or DDR5. We're obviously going to go off DDR5 since that's the RAM that you're looking to invest in. Right. Uh, we do have a large selection. I have like Asus, MSI, a um, whole bunch of brands. I personally have an Asus motherboard myself. Yeah, I tend to lean towards Asus unless, you know, there's some feature that is not available. Right, that, that's understandable. You know, yeah. so as long as I have a motherboard that can support at least three PCIe slots okay. of, I guess, th at least 3.0. Okay. Right. Um, I think I have one in mind. Let me just check real quick, make sure that I have it available uh, from Asus. It is an Asus Z690 Prime Wi-Fi DDR5. Uh, let's see right here. If you need Wi-Fi, at least. Uh, yes, I need Wi-Fi. I forgot to leave. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> okay. I definitely need Wi-Fi. Okay. <laughs> this one has Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi now is used. Just uh, and the reason this is important. Yeah. My new uh, Elgato lights. Mm -hmm. They actually connect to the PC through the Stream Deck. There you go. Using Wi-Fi. There you go. Okay. So, so if I don't have Wi-Fi in the PC, I would have to add it. You would, yeah, with either a USB adapter or right, an internal. Right. Yeah. And I have adapter. a spare card for that. Uh, okay. Uh, and is that six? Is it that is Wi-Fi six and Bluetooth version five? Okay, you got that. You got one of those. Yeah, yeah. That's is it. that available to look at, or is it uh, on the shelf in I the back can somewhere? Check. Yeah, I'd have to check. Make sure I have it out. Um, it does have one PCI 4.0 and two PCI 3.0. Is that okay? That's perfect. Okay. Uh, let's take a look, see if I have it out on the shelf. Okay. What do you know? I got it right here. Oh, wow. That's yeah. great. This is an Asus Prime Z690 Wi-Fi edition, DDR5, Windows 11 ready if someone wanted to upgrade to Windows 11 right now. And then if you want to look at the back, it has all the features right here. Just, uh, wow. There's a nice heat sink over the first yeah. M.2. If you want to come around. Yep, that's good. That's good. I, I, I like those. I like to have the heat sink on the motherboard. Yeah, a lot of motherboards do, not all of them. Yeah, but Asus makes really great motherboards. Okay, yeah, yeah I've so. had no problem with it. I hear, I hear com com complaints from people, but I've never personally experienced anything. No, me neither. Anything. I have an Asus motherboard. When I built my dad's PC, I put another Asus motherboard in it. They work great. Yeah, I also like their BIOS the best. Me too, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're very, very user-friendly. <laughs> Okay, so let's put this by the counter. Okay. okay so we got our processor motherboard picked out. Uh, I took $20 off, like I said, because they do bundle. Good, and good. And then we have the RAM picked out. And you said you're looking for a two terabyte. Two terabyte M. SSD M.2, okay. yes. Fourth gen, right? I do like Samsung. I, I know it's costly. I was about to say, yeah, I have a Samsung that, that I would recommend for you. Um, I would stick with the non-heatsink version just because you don't need the heatsink because it already has That's a, right. It's a good point. Thank yeah, you. It already has a heat shield on it. So the 2TB 980 Pro is on sale for 289 normally 379 Wow. Okay. So that's what I'd go with, and you save an additional ten dollars off it when bundled with a processor or motherboard. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Is that available to look at here? Oh, or? yeah. I have the SSDs right over here. Samsung is on look. the leftmost case right over here, while I add it onto your your list. So that's a nine eighty. So that's a 
980 Pro, right? Yeah. So these are the ones with the heat sinks on them. Right. Um, so we're not really going to be focusing on these. I have the non-heat sink versions down here. So I have a 500 gig, a one terabyte, and then the two terabyte all the way on the right side. Okay, that's that's my baby there, right? Yep, that, that's okay. it. Okay, two terabytes, yep. perfect. And that is a fourth gen. The regular 980 is a third gen. That's the other thing. I was going to say that. I did want to have fourth gen on that. Yeah, so that's the Pro. The Pro is a fourth gen, okay? Okay. So we're going to go back over this way. Sure. Okay, so... Well, let me stop and look at this computer here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice one. It's one of um, Asus's new cases. Wow. Yeah. That's a Rogue Strick. Uh... So it's a bare bones kit. So it comes with a couple of the parts already included, and then you add a couple parts to it to complete the system. Right, right. So we have a breakdown of everything that's in here right on this sheet. Oh, that's great. I used to do pre builts. Mm -hmm. These are not regular pre builts, though. These are not no, done by HP or anything. Yeah, they're like half builds, kind of. Because, like I said, the, the box comes with a couple of the parts, like most of the parts, and then you get to customize a few things. Good, good. Some people, that's the way to go. Yeah. Although I like building it because uh, <laughs> you learn a lot, too. It's not yeah. just the fun you have doing it. Yeah, you get to learn about all the parts if you need and to. And how upgrade. they work. Yeah. And exactly, yeah. And if you upgrade, then you got spare parts. Yep, exactly. Then you can do another build. Unless you give them away sometimes, uh, or sell them. Then you get yeah. <laughs> um, I have a couple of extra kits of RAM just in case. You never know, you might need one. Um, but yeah, it's always a good idea to have a couple extra parts just in case. And this can support 128 gig, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Most motherboards nowadays, they can uh, almost all support 128, except for some of the smaller form factor ones. OK, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so we got the processor, the i9-12900KS, which is on sale for $729. We have the motherboard, Z690 Prime Wi-Fi DDR5, which I took $20 off because they're bundled for $229 now instead of $249. Uh, we have your DDR5 RAM itself, the G-Skill Ripjaws, on sale for $549. And we have your 2 terabyte 990 Pro, the extra $10 off is $279. Wow, that's perfect. Yeah. Was there anything else you wanted to add in there, contemplate, think about? No, I think that's, uh, that's all I was interested in for this pass. I'm going to probably hang around now, and I like to look around <laughs> and see what else you guys okay. got. So I'll get the parts assembled for you while you're just kind of looking around, and then I'll let you know when I have everything. Um, the only other thing we do recommend is in-store protections in case anything it all happens we'll just swap it out give you another one okay that's perfect thank you okay no problem let me print this out for you okay well thank you much yeah, of course Hi, how you doing? Good, good. Is this all you getting? This is enough, right? This is more than enough. This is enough. I should have like four items here, right?
That's me. Yeah.